Welcome back to Steel and Vance. A lot of very uncomfortable and nervous Canadians <sighs> this week, Linda, with a hike in the Bank of Canada rate. A lot of people with variable mortgages really worried about their payments and making those payments, but grocery prices. Oh, wow. I mean, it's crazy. We actually got, uh, we saw a tweet online about the price of a head of lettuce. NBC, this is on the island, $6.99 for a head of U.S. iceberg lettuce. That's crazy. I had a woman, Jody, reach out to me today. She said she bought two large russet potatoes when right. the cashier went to ring them in they were seven dollars and sixty some cents for potatoes she said, put them back i said are you kidding me two potatoes were almost eight dollars i mean that's bananas and a lot of canadians according to an angus reed poll some like 80 percent of canadians are going i'm suspicious mm -hmm. i kind of believe that maybe the big grocers are taking advantage of consumers and I don't know if this is greedflation, which is the new term that the federal NDP like to bandy about. But our next guest is the guy who knows all about food pri uh, prices. Sylvain Charlebois is a professor in food distribution and policy at Dalhousie University. He is actually at the airport of Pearson right now, and we are so <laughs> grateful to have you with us. Sylvain is known as the food professor. Thank you so much for joining us from the airport. My, my pleasure. I mean, you're saving me from the Maple Leaf Lounge where the food is not great. So thank no, you for that. But it's free yeah. and everybody's worried about the cost of food. <laughs> and so my question, Sylvan, is, I mean, is it true? Are the big grocers being greedy? What do you know about this? You know, as you know, Parliament is going to be looking into this. Uh, they voted uh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess. And, uh, and on Monday, we, the Competition Bureau will be studying the matter as well. So lots of people are wondering what is going on. We actually did look at financial statements from top grocers in the country, uh, Empire, Law Blas, and Metro, and, and we couldn't find any evidence of wrongdoing or profiteering. Margins have been have remained the same two to four percent over the last five years. Uh, some people uh, like to throw out uh, words like record profits, massive profits, which is somewhat true when you look at dollar amounts over the last few years. Yes, they've gone up, but revenues have gone up, costs have gone up. But you know, two percent today in 2022 doesn't necessarily look at like two percent five ago. So we have to nuance things a little bit so but is there greeting on is there exaggeration or abuse out there it is possible we just don't see it in food distribution and 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 in the grocery business per se now sylvan there was the controversy about uh, the price fixing of, of bread and that really did you know stir some distrust of big grocers mm -hmm. for canadians did we ever get to the end of what that was all about and and is that sort of sparking our, our distrust today maybe yeah i think uh what i'm realizing this week is that a lot of people thought it was it was over i mean uh it was settled years ago well it isn't uh so to remind folks uh the alleged bread price fixing scheme lasted 14 years from 2001 2015 Loblaws went to the Com competition bureau in 2015 asked for Im immunity and launched an investigation on the matter two years later in 2017 Loblaws admitted to the public that they were part of this scheme giving all of us 25 dollars at the same time uh but that was five years ago so Basically, since 2015, we've had this investigation, no outcome, no reports, nothing from the Bureau. Yeah. And so it's been seven years and we haven't heard anything. Mm. You know, and in the meantime, we've had 13 straight months of food inflation and consumers are going, I need a break. I, I'm like eating less. I can't feed the kids. Is there any good news on the horizon? <sighs> Well, you know, it's we're doing our forecasts uh, for 2023 right now. So uh, Canada's food prices will be coming out on December 5th uh, of this year. And uh, so we've looked at a few models and uh, it's it's not looking great, to be honest. Well, I don't think it's going to be as bad as this year, but we're not going to see food prices drop anytime soon. That's the bad news some categories we are expecting some categories to soften a little bit like fruits we are expecting prices to drop 
in some kind of glories, but for the most part, we shouldn't ex you shouldn't expect a miracle. However, that being said, supply chain the supply chain situation is getting better, which means which means grocers will have a easier time to offer deals to us in stores. Right, so that lost leader comes back into play. Sylvan, what about Lot, exactly the the piece of the puzzle? Like when people say, once the price goes up, it very yeah. rarely comes back down. Will we ever see, like you said, some softening, perhaps in in fruit and fruit and vegetables? But is it just me, or I mean, I have a fourteen year old. He can eat, he can drink <laughs> gallons of milk. He'll eat a loaf of <laughs> bread. It all seems remarkably more expensive. Oh, absolutely. And uh, yeah, there are some categories where uh, demand elasticity is so significant that grocers just won't drop prices, even though sometimes costs may drop. The problem, the challenge at the grocery store, unlike when you're selling t-shirts or cars, is that you can bring down prices, but bringing them up again, you'll be exposed to accusation of greedflation and things like that so right. they're very careful with margins and playing around with prices overall it's been like that forever but like i said margins have remained somewhat the same over the last several years in processing what's interesting is that uh, we've seen companies like unilever mondelez pepsico posting earnings over the last couple of weeks and well profit margins have gone up slightly uh, so in processing, there's something going on for sure. Mm. Yeah, I, we want to get to the bottom of it. Thank you so much for joining us, says Sylvain Charlebaugh, uh, the food professor. Run off to the Maple Leaf Lounge and get We're a glass of wine. We're toasting you with our glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. All right, take us. care. All right, people are not going to maybe feel a lot better after hearing that conversation. But I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it, does, it seems bleak. We'll have to pinch our pennies for sure. This might make you feel a little bit better because still ahead on Steel and Vance, we're talking hockey with one of Canada's most colorful and accomplished guys in the sports business. Brian Burke weighs in on the Hockey Canada scandal, the Canucks' horrible start to the season, and a whole lot more. Stay tuned.